This is the River Hawk Report for Wednesday, January 20th, 2010. Round ball, basketball, the only game in town last night, and it was a good night for the River Hawks, both men and women at the Costello Gymnasium hosting Le Moyne. Each team turned in big second halves en route to victory. Let's start with the women first. A 13-2 run midway through the second half turned what had been a tied game into a River Hawk victory. UMass Lowell women defeated Le Moyne 73-64. to We know... Every game is a battle, and, and we got to come out and battle. And every person on our team is important, and we need everybody you know, behind us. And I think we're starting to understand that a little bit more, but we still have to grow and learn. That is Riverhawk head coach Kathy O'Neill. And O'Neill says winning starts with defense, but that is not the only ingredient. I think you have to be able to stop people. Whatever sport you play, you know that. you got to be able to defend. But, I mean, you also obviously have to be able to score baskets. Riverhawk scoring was led by Bianca Simmons. The freshman had a big night, a career-high 28 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. You know, I think she felt good. She, she hit a couple shots, and she felt good, and she started to defend, and she was rebounding, she was able to rebound the ball. She had some big rebounds. That makes it easier when you can do that. She had some easy easy looks, so I think it helped her, and, and we played well with her. I think the team played well. Everybody, you know, pitched in. And Simmons says it is all about team. I think I contributed well with, like, we play together. Uh, I picked up my defense, which was a main factor um, throughout this year. Passes were good. I just uh, played team ball, and I think that um, we all played good together. While Simmons grabbed the headlines with her scoring, she says it does start with defense. Defense always leads to good offense, getting good stops, not letting them um, get the easy shots, and uh, offense always comes. So we were patient on offense, so we did good. And Simmons adds she doesn't think about statistics. I don't think about the whole night. I just think about 40 minutes playing out hard, playing with the team, I just like. It just feels good that everything's going good so far. So Again, Simmons finished the night with 28 points. Sinead Bushner added 16. Eight of them came during that second half, 13-2 run. They played a key role. I thought Sinead Bushner actually pulled us out. She really picked it up, and she had you know, three or four quick baskets in a row, nice looks, moving well, and we got her the ball, and she finished. The win was the fourth straight for the women. They are now 11-5, and 7-5 and five in the Northeast 10. UMass Lowell men used a tenacious defense and some hot shooting in the second half to turn around what had been a nightmarish start, and they beat Lemoyne 66-54. That, that was gut check time for us because we could we, we had nothing early, and we came back and gave them something. That is head coach Greg Horenda. The Riverhawks had trailed by as much as 18 points in the first half, but after the break, they stepped up the defense, and the team began to hit its shots. And it was defense that was the key. Lemoyne was limited to just 20 points in the second half. We held them to 20 points. We said we had to defend. Our goal was to stop and score in that order, and they scored 20 points, and that's a very good team. They're very well coached, and they've got one of the best players in the league. Our kids just gutted it out, and, and that's what we hadn't done the last two games, and, uh, and I'm proud of what we did in the second half. The offense was keyed by Kyle Keola. The sophomore guard hit for 32 points, 19 of them in the second half. Keola was the only River Hawk in double digits. UMass Lowell men are now 12-5, and 9-3 in the Northeast 10 Conference. The basketball teams, both women and men, will be back in action Saturday. They're on the road. They visit the College of St. Rose. That's an Albany, New York. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Wednesday, January 20th, 2010.